Okay, in the last video, uh, I showed you how to create the smoke effect uh, to composite into the scene. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to mask out for a ground object so that the smoke looks like it's in the scene instead of on top of it. So you see if I were to disable the mask here, you'll see that, of course, the smoke is on top of everything and it doesn't look very good. So uh, we need to create a mask uh, to mask out these foreground objects. And I'm going to create that in Blender. And this is a technique you can use for a variety of projects, anything that uses any kind of compositing. Uh, this is a really good technique to know. So let's go to that scene in Blender. I created uh, another version of the scene. And of course, I called it Masks. And uh, I what I did was I've separated out the objects that I know I'm going to mask out. So in this case, it's Diva and this statue here. And I put them on their own layer with the camera. So you see they're on this layer by themselves. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is uh, we're going to feed these objects as an object index into the compositor. So we need to uh, one by one select the objects that you're going to mask out and go to the object tab for them. And under here, under relations, uh, go to the pass index and make sure it's set to an independent number. So in this case, I just have my pass index set to one. All right. And everything that I want to turn into a mask, I'm going to give it the same pass index. So her hair, her headset, her gun, the statue, everything is set to a pass index of one. All right. Then um, the next thing you need to do is go to the render layers tab and turn on object index. All right. So what that's going to do is when we go to our node editor and we go to um, the uh, uh, render uh, compositing nodes, you'll see that if you have that check marked, this plug will be available index object. All right. So now we will be able to um, access the the pass index of, of the objects that we created. Uh, so the setup for this is really super simple. As you can see, it's just these three nodes here. So all you got to do is do a search for ID mask. There it is. All right. You just put in the scene there. And as you can see here, I just set the ID mask to the pass index that we had those objects. In this case, it was one. And then we feed this plug into the ID value. And we feed the alpha from this into the image. And I check mark use alpha. And then I go ahead to the render tab. Now, uh, you don't have to have any kind of samples set up. I just put five samples here because, you know, all you care about is rendering it enough to, you know, get the mass done. So I set to something really super low. I set to five because I wanted to get a little bit of anti-aliasing and stuff like that. So, uh, so then just go ahead and let's just render one frame here. Okay, so you see it's going to render it. And then it turns the image into a mask. Everything that has been set to that object, uh, pass index of one in this case, is going to be turned into a mask. So now um, make sure that you've set it to render out to PNG uh, with RGB alpha. For, well, actually, it doesn't matter. This is going to be a black and white image. So whatever image format you want to use. And then um, just render it out as a sequence of images. And then you can bring it into your compositing program. In this case, I used After Effects. And I just turn that into a, uh, a Luma mat. Uh, and then as you can see here, like I said, if you have that mask on top and you um, use it, you can um, you can get the uh, foreground objects to be occluded or to occlude the, um, the layer behind it, which is that smoke layer. All right. So it's actually not that difficult. So anyway, uh, I hope that this um, tutorial helps you out. If you like these videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. All right. Talk to you later.